is unpredictable. Uh, we don't know what's going to be happening out in, uh, in London or southwestern Ontario, which is our catchment area for our cases. Uh, it can range from uh, a natural death, uh, somebody dies of a heart attack, or it could be a complicated homicide case, uh, obviously involving police and uh, many hours of work. But we'll get a uh, warrant for post-mortem examination, and in that uh, warrant the coroner will outline the circumstances of that person's death and the questions that he or she may have regarding that death. Uh, we may talk to the coroner directly to get some additional information. Uh, if there's police involved, uh, we'll be talking to police, uh, probably if they come into the autopsy, uh, just prior to the autopsy, get additional information. If it's a complex case of homicide or criminally suspicious death, it may take place all day. It may extend into the following day as well. And then the report may also take uh, some months uh, before it's actually released. Well, it is multidisciplinary. I mean, obviously we have the uh, Department of Pathology. Uh, uh, we have a forensic pathologist, and we have a pathologist that uh, perform more routine cases. Uh, we have neuropathologists that assist with examination of the brain. But there are other areas of the lab that uh, we rely on. So if it's a case that involves infection, microbiology, we analyze uh, the eye fluid frequently uh, to analyze for abnormalities of the glucose or sugar uh, and other products of metabolism or elements of metabolism and that involves a biochemistry lab. We take DNA samples in some of our cases and that's a molecular diagnostic lab and I should just mention also identification just by simply identifying somebody properly uh, that allows the uh, process to unfold as uh, you know and particularly closure for families to know that they're, they're, somebody's been properly identified. And some of these cases go to inquests uh, the inquest is designed to determine uh, uh, you know, who, where, why, by what means, under what circumstances that, that person died, and uh, I'm sorry, when as well. Uh, so the sort of the basic five W's, you know, five questions that need to be asked. Uh, the whole in intention of the inquest is to prevent future deaths. Uh, so that's one sort of legal form that we, we participate in as pathologists. Uh, the other one is our, our criminal proceedings and uh, usually we're uh, asked by the Crown to present our evidence, particularly in homicide cases because we have a cause of death that assists the, the Crown in those cases. But our ultimate duty is to the court because there may be other issues that arise from that case, not just the cause of death, that will assist the court in making the determination. So that's the Crown, the, the defense, the judge and ultimately the jury.